Um, one thing that always bothered me about religion was um the saying, thank God X didn't happen to you or you're not like that or blah, blah, blah. Um, and I, a, a specific example I'm going to go over that I can remember clearly was uh, maybe 20 years ago. I was watching the Murray Povich show with my late grandma and... You know, he does more, it wasn't the You Are the Father one, he was actually, he actually does different ones, surprisingly, uh, but this one was uh, the Freaky People, where they like have like def deformities and shit, and this particular person was like monkey syndrome or something, like he was covered in hair, and she said, and this ain't the first, only time she said it, but she said, thank God, you're not like that. Now, I'm assuming that this is going to be wiped off, shrugged off as a, a metaphor. Like, oh, they're not really saying thank God that he did that to somebody else. But I, I don't see no other way. I, I don't see how you could take it any other way than that. Because if I'm thanking him that I'm not like something he created... Wouldn't I be saying that there's something wrong with something he created? And secondly, when it's always doubled back to that to say that they're blessed, they have they have a special place in heaven, or, or some just something weird like they're going to get rewarded for the 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 type of shit that they go through on Earth because they struggle more or something like that. So now you can't even feel bad for the people. Because their afterlife is going to be better than your afterlife. Uh, apparently. So I just never understood this idea of, thank God, that doesn't happen. Because that's a shitty thing to say. When I see people say, thank God I woke up this morning. Let's get to see another day. You just shit on everybody who didn't. Everybody who got shot yesterday. Everybody who had a heart attack. Hurricanes. You just shit it on those people in the name of God, ironically, because he didn't wake them up. He he had, I guess, shitty plans for them because if their plans were, if his plans for them were so great, why are you thankful that you didn't get those plans? And if you know, because, and if it's because you know that his plans for you are going to be, you know, just as good. Because they can't be better. You can't say he's giving you better plans. But his plans for you are just as good. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking if that's if that's the way of, of that it, the logic goes? If no matter what, because you believe his plan for you was a great plan. So why are you why are you just thinking thanking him because your plan is different? That doesn't even fucking make sense. None at all. I just don't. That, thank God you're not in the wheelchair. But that person is in their life. Their present life is not so great. But it is great. Because you, you have to speak. And you can't speak negatively. So do you see this constant loop. That you're stuck in. When you give everything to God. As they say. Give it to God. Like, which is another thing that I fucking hate. I absolutely hate that saying. I, I, I wish I had a screenshot of it, but it says something like, you know, your car bills, your any, basically all your stress, give it to God and let it go and watch what happens. What, so what what are you doing when you give it to him and you let it go? If your rent is late and you give it to God and let it go, are you not going to pay it and just expect some shit to happen? Because if you're still going to pay it, you didn't give it to him, did you? You didn't let go. Is, I don't. You can believe what it is you want, but when you speak it out loud, it is it it bugs people who try to think logically about shit. Because it's just you're. To me, I, I've always been frustrated because it feels like I feel like you're lying to me. I feel like you're just putting utter bullshit out there. And then some of you, not all, but some of you have the audacity to tell other people 
that you know they're living a fucked up kind of life or something like that and but yet you just you immediately just can't even justify half the shit because your justification usually just like you know it's my belief which really isn't justification at all and another thing that i never understood about christians or really rich people period but i i'm surrounded by christians is when they bring up shit like school shootings because those are so prevalent and i remember i was in when i was going to junior college my sociology class uh this this fat white lady down in the front row i forget exactly what was said but she uttered all all the bad stuff is happening in schools because they took god out of schools Look, man, let's let's think about what you're saying when you say that, right? If you're saying that God was kicked out of the schools, so therefore bad shit happens, because he ain't going nowhere he ain't wanted. So he's going to let everybody else suffer? I mean, can he not, is he incapable of keeping these people who do want them there safe, but they're not these people. Is he incapable of that? Because you, in order to make that logic work, you have you you have to say that only bad shit happens to atheists. And I'm again, if all it takes is you just simply not wanting him there for him to not not be effective, regardless whether you believe or not, then you have to say you have to admit prayer doesn't work. Because if if I want to shoot you in the face and his will is just dismissed because I want to shoot you in the face and I don't want him there, what is you praying gonna do? What are you what, what is you praying gonna do? And and another how how the hell can you just how you can't really remove prayer from school. Because like that you tell it, I'm pretty sure you'll say you don't have to pray out loud to pray. You can pray in your head, right? And he can still hear it. Right? So how was he really removed from the school? How? Like it, all right, back to the to the school shooting. Back to this. So before they said that you can no longer pray over the intercon in the school, was school one hundred percent uh Shooting free, killing free, bullying free, fighting free. Was it this holy matrimonial place? No. Which means that even when God's there, he, he's rather ineffective. I have yet to actually anybody prove how how effective he is. Like, like I, realistically. I remember... Um, my cousin's uncle, we were watching this news thing and this, no, it wasn't, it was, it was, it was TV. He was on TV and apparently he, he, the plane crash that he was on, he was the lone survivor. And this dude said, God was with him. What, what about? Like, there's like 200 other people on that plane. He's he just chose one person. Are you not going to tell me that he had a plan for that person? Where is that person now? Because this was this was 12 years. This was 10 years ago. Where is that person now? If he had a plan for him, what? The, what? Should we know something? Please tell me his his plan was like to get a job at a bank, and then do nothing. That that was his plan. When y'all start speaking of this plan and shit, it's just, come on, dude. If he has a plan, shouldn't his plan be for like, like greater times or great purposes? Not taking withdrawals for people, right? And it's, I, I just think everything is a cop out when it comes to this religion crap, man. Look at everything people don't do and just say, God got it. 
get what you got. Let's talk about parenting. How many people think just because they go to church on Sundays that they don't really have to do no parenting? And is I know I I know this. Oh, that what does that have to do with God? That's their fault. <sighs> My point is, he's kind of ineffective at getting people to like follow him. Because I'm pretty sure if you made it this far in the video, you're gonna say, "Oh, it is. It, you, it isn't his fault. You gotta want to follow him to follow and some some shit like that." Well, again, he's ineffective. If you have to want to follow him, he's ineffective. If, if I say, all right, this is how this store is going to run. I own the store. I built the store. I hired the people. I put the product on the shelf. This is how the store is going to run. All right. Now, here's all the rules to being an employee. But you only, you, you, I'm only going to enforce them if you want me to. Where's my store going to go? It's going to run itself into the ground. Because people are going to take breaks. They're going to call in all the time. They're going to come to work, clock in, leave. Make, come back, clock out when it, it's, it's, it's going, I'm going to be very ineffective as, as owner, right? As, excuse me, as a boss, CEO, manager, all that, right? That's God. Just horrifically ineffective. How, how often is he thanked for shit after the fact of some bad shit? You get struck by lightning. Somehow your skin fully recovers from all the burns. Thank God. Why didn't he stop the lightning? Did he not see it coming? Why didn't he tell, send a voice to your head? Yo, move over. It, that, that That is... Come on, man. Like, the the... the the Lions, the Detroit Lions quarterback's wife, Kelly Stafford, she, and she, and this is what really pisses me off. Like, when y'all say shit, like, she said, because she had like a tumor or something in her head, they took it out. Oh, this was a, this was a brain surgeon or something like that sent from God. Why he sent a brain surgeon? The same dude who spoke existence into existence sent a brain surgeon. You know, people eat doctors fuck up. You go Google it. Go Google how many people died because the doctor had an oopsie. He sent him. Why why he ain't just do some shit to and, and the tumor be gone? Why did he send that guy? Why did he just ever say anybody? Why do churches call fire departments? Why did that one kid walk in and shoot everybody in the church? Were th they were actively praising that guy, and w was he was he did he close his eyes and, and like he he just you know fucked up for a little bit? I mean, what like dude? This dude is horrifically ineffective to be like just com like dude. How do you justify this? How? And and then, and then I, I recently had a conversation with somebody, and they we were talking about something. They said, "Yes, I I will vote this, even though I pointed out how them saying them voting yes because of their beliefs contradicts what they said earlier." It was like, well, "But yeah, it was my belief. That's just what I would vote." So people lives are affected because people believe shit. That makes no sense. People believe shit that makes no sense. I feel like other people shop to live by the same thing. And I we were I think we we're talking we we're talking about polygyny. And people do this people do this for everything. Polygyny, gay marriage, abortion, uh war just everything. So we it's very relevant to to voice my opinion about it. Don't say it's not because let's be real. 
when you go to vote for stuff and it inflicts your beliefs, you gon' you gonna vote for your beliefs beliefs before you vote for logic every day of the week, right? Because according to you, your log your beliefs are very logical, even though you can't prove it. Even though you can't prove that voting for God or the Bible is is going to actually make things better, you just you're going to vote for it anyway. You cannot prove that if you force people to pray, that it will actually prevent people from being able to walk in with a gun if they want to. But you're going to vote for it anyway. You can't prove that God can 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 you know get people off the streets. You can't prove that God can you know prevent people from having these you know unwanted babies. You you can't prove he can he can do a goddamn thing. But you be damned if you vote against him because I mean you don't want to go to hell, do you? Goward saying I. Right, I'm just I'm I'm done ranting. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, if I'm wrong, prove it. Um, you can try to be right, but just don't just be positive. Be right. I'm out.